Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be for those of you fasting for Lent. I didn't forget you all, I got so many requests for Lent recipes. This is just going to be a recipe for a simple baked red snapper. This is how I like making red snapper. It's one of my favorite fishes. I'm not too much into fish. If you've been following me for a while, you know I don't really do a lot of fish recipes because I don't like fish too much but I do love red snapper. So if you wanna see how I make this amazingly delicious red snapper, then keep watching. So to get started, I have about a one and a half pound red snapper here. I went ahead and I took the eyes out. The guys cleaned it up for me, so they gutted it and they took out the fins as well as the tail. So it's good to go now. And I washed it with some lemon juice or you can wash it with a little bit of lime juice just to cut that freshness. So all I like to do is go in and score the fish. So you're just gonna cut it at an angle. And the reason for scoring it is to keep the fish flat while it's cooking. If you notice, as seafood cooks, it tends to curl up a bit. So by scoring it, it's just gonna help it to stay flat on the pan. And I'm not using this pan to bake it in. I'm gonna be baking it on a griddle. So do both sides. So you'll also need some mushrooms and I just cut some whole mushrooms, I cut them into chunks. Some ginger that I just sliced, some pimento peppers or seasoning peppers, some sliced onion, a carrot cut into wedges, some celery leaf and the stalk, thyme, sive or green onion or scallion, a tomato sliced, and for the dry seasonings, I'm using some lemon pepper. I love adding lemon pepper to any seafood dishes. Some Cajun seasoning, it's gonna give it that nice spicy kick. A little salt and some black pepper. I'm adding a little sesame oil that is totally optional. I just like the taste of it. Some soy sauce and I'm using this ginger soy sauce. I find that it's very light so it doesn't darken the fish too much. I'm using my favorite Irish butter, Kerrygold. I'm not sponsored by Kerrygold, but I just love it. Instead of butter, you can use a little bit of oil, a nutty oil, because the fish is very nutty, it already has a nutty flavor. So by adding that nutty oil, like a macadamia nut oil, it's gonna really bring out the flavors of the fish. And the most important part, my Caribbean green seasoning, I'm gonna use some shadow benny, bandania, or culantro. See this? Shadow bennies on steroids, it's really big. I think these came from Mexico. So this is what a bandania shadow benny leaf or ricao leaf looks like. It's very potent, much more potent than cilantro. But if you can't find this, you can use cilantro. I have a hot pepper. I have some more ginger that I'm gonna be mixing into the green seasoning and lots of garlic. I love adding lots of garlic to my green seasoning. So let's get started on seasoning up the fish. So now is the fun part, now it's time to season up the fish. So all I have here is my cast iron pan, I'm using some fig leaves at the bottom or banana leaves and all you do is you line it with enough fig leaves so that when it's time to cook you could just wrap it over or if you don't have a big enough fig leaf just take an next one and put it on the top when it's baking. So the first thing we're gonna do now is add the salt, just gonna add the dry ingredients. It really doesn't matter what order you add the ingredients. I'm adding the lemon pepper. Make sure you massage it in and you put some inside. The Cajun seasoning.
Next, I'm going in with that green seasoning mixture I just made. Make sure you stuff those slits with the seasoning. And the rest of the seasoning, I'm just gonna put it onto the fig leaf around the fish because that's gonna make our sauce to eat over the rice because this is gonna flavor all the vegetables that we add. So all you do next is just add those veggies and I'm gonna stuff the onion into the belly. Before I fill up this, let me season it with the soy sauce because it's going to be harder to move. So into the belly goes a little bit of the soy sauce. A little bit on top and you just rub it in. Sprinkle the side of the scallions. Into the belly goes the thyme. Some tomatoes for a little tartness and acidity. Layer your celery and don't forget to add the ginger. The ginger is going to give the sauce a really nice flavor. Now at the top you're going to add the butter. So just put it over the vegetables. I just put some butter into the head there. Top it with some lemon. Just drizzle a little bit of sesame oil over the entire pan. Not too much. So now all you do is wrap the fig leaf over or I'm just gonna add a next piece because after adding all the ingredients it's gonna be hard to turn this excess over so I'm just gonna use the next one and these are frozen leaves that I got so <laughs> this is the best I have so all you do is cover the fish with that and then put it into the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 35 minutes the fish just came out the oven and it just smells amazing I could smell everything that I added I smell in the sesame oil the ginger the lemon and I forgot to mention if you wanted you could squeeze some lemon over the fish I like to squeeze the lemon when I'm actually eating it so when I'm serving it I squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on top but it's totally up to you how you want to do it and then if you look here you'll see how nice and soft the vegetables got they're nice and tender they're not exactly very soft so the sweet peppers stayed a little crispy but you see this nice sauce at the bottom this is the gold right here this is what I'm gonna spoon over my rice and then I'm gonna cut piece of the fish and that's how I'll be eating this dish. So that's it for the baked red snapper. Be sure to leave all your comments, questions, suggestions in the comment section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel to see all the latest videos. And if you have any requests, make sure you email them to me. Follow me on Instagram at Taste of Trinbago. And you can request any recipes in my direct messages on my email at Spoonful of Trini. You're all gonna love this one for Lent. So if you try it, make sure you send me a message. Until I see you all again in my next video, bye.